Students, today we're going to discuss how to convert, that means to change, customary lengths, and we're going to use sports to do that. Customary lengths, also called standard lengths, include inches, feet, yards, and miles. So you see up at the top a picture showing you the different comparisons between these customary lengths. Now these are going to be facts that you have to memorize. Once you have these three basic facts memorized, then uh, the rest becomes super easy for us. So we see up at the top, we have one foot. The feet here are shown in orange. One foot is how many inches? Well, here's one itty little bit of, itty bitty inch. How many of those are in a foot? Well, you can count there are 12 of them, 12 of them in each foot. So one foot is 12 inches. Moving on to a yard, you're going to see up at the top there, a yard is uh, the longest one that can fit here on the screen because we can't fit a mile on the screen. But one yard is how many inches? Well, you can see it's 12 inches and then another set of 12 there. And then here's another set of 12. So three sets of 12 inches make a yard. So how many is that? That's 36 inches. So one foot is 12 inches. One yard is 36 inches. Uh, how many feet are in a yard? One yard is how many feet? Well, again, look up at the top. Look at the graphic. There's one yard. How many of these feet fit there? There's one. There's two. There is three feet. And then the last fact, we couldn't fit a mile on the screen. It would just simply be too large. A mile, maybe you've run that in gym class before. Really long distance. This is, again, one that you just have to memorize. A mile is 5,280 feet. 5,280. Silly way to remember that is Five tomatoes, and you're saying, what does that have to do with the math? Well, five tomatoes, five, two, eight, oh, uh, that little silly memory device might be enough to help you remember. So now that we know those facts, how do we change from one unit or one label to another? Well, let's look at our first situation here with football. Bernie's football team needs six more yards for a first down. So how many feet do they need? Well, we know they need six yards. How many feet is that? We're going to write down the problem we're trying to solve, and it's really easy to write down. We don't write all the words down. We just say six yards equals how many feet. Then you write down the fact that we already know. We know from our picture up here at the top, right, we know that one yard is one, two, three feet. So once we realize that, all we need to do next is decide if we're going to go from big to small units or small to big. What does that mean? Well, taking a look at the top, one yard is a very large unit. One foot is smaller than that. So we're going from big yards that we know down to small feet that we don't know. So we're going big to small. Up here in the corner, you're going to notice it tells you if you're going from big to small, we're going to multiply. So what are we going to multiply by? Well, we're going to take our six yards and we know that each one has three feet in it. So we're going to do six times three. Six times three. How many feet is that? That's eight feet. Let's try another one. The steps are going to be exactly the same. An NBA backboard is 72 inches wide. So how many feet is that? Again, we're going to write down the problem we're trying to solve here. That problem is 72 inches is how many feet? Then we're going to write down what we know about inches and feet. Looking up at the graphic, what do we know about inches, these tiny little itty bitty ones compared to a foot? Well, there are 12 inches in a foot. Now that we know that, we got to decide, are we going big to small or small to big? We'll look up at the top. Inches are super tiny. Feet are bigger. So we're going small to big. When we go small to big units, small to big labels, we are going to divide. So we're going to take all of those 72 inches, and we are going to divide them into groups of 12, because each one of those makes a foot. 72 divided by 12 equals how many feet? Six feet. So an NBA backward is six feet across. How about baseball this time? To hit a home run at Tiger Field, the ball must travel 402 feet. How many yards is this? So we are trying to solve 402 feet, change to yards. And what fact do we know about feet and yards? Well, we know that one, two, three feet equals one yard. Feet, two yards, three feet and one yard. So are we going to go big to small or going small units to big units? Well, we're going from feet which are smaller, two yards. So we're going small to big again. Small to big, every time we do that, we divide because we're making little groups of them. So we're going to take all 402 feet. We are going to divide it into little groups of three because each one of those makes a yard. And what is 402 divided by three? That turned out to be 134 yards.
How about sprinting, hurdling, track and field? The distance between the hurdles is 10 yards. So how many inches is that? Well, we're going to write down the problem. What is the problem we're trying to solve here? Well, we're trying to solve 10 yards equals how many inches? What do we know about yards and inches? Well, we know that in a yard, there are 36 inches, right? 12 inches for the first foot, 12 inches for the next, and 12 inches for the third. That's 36 inches. So one yard is 36 inches. So if we're going from yards to inches, is that big units to small or small units to big? Well, take a look. Big yards, very, very tiny, small inches, big to small. And that tells us to do what operation? That tells us to multiply. So we are going to take our 10 yards and we're going to multiply each one by 36 because each yard has 36 inches in it. So 10 times 36, that's an easy one to multiply by 10. It winds up being 360 inches between each of those hurdles. And the last sports one we're going to try involves track and field. Notice our runner there probably running away from their math teacher. Anyway, in PE this year, physical education or gym class, you ran a total of 10,560 feet on the track. So what is this distance in miles? So the problem we're trying to solve is 10,560 feet equals how many miles? Well, what do we know? Remember there are five tomatoes. We know 5,280 feet equals one mile. We're going from feet, which are relatively small, to miles, which are huge. So we're going from small to big. What operation is that? When we go from small to big, are we going to multiply? Are we going to divide? We are going to divide. So we're going to take all 10,560 feet, divide them into 5,280. And I can see here about 10 divided by about 5 should be about 2. And in fact, it is. It winds up to be two miles. And you can always check that with what operation can you check it with? You can check it with multiplication, right? Two times this amount would give us the feet we started with. So I've provided these measurement conversions up here at the top. Again, we want to work toward memorizing those, but we're going to try just a few more. You may need to pause the video a few times as you solve these. First thing you got to do is decide if you're going to multiply or divide in each situation. And up there at the top, it shows you if you're going from big units to small units, you multiply, and small units to big units, you simply divide. So three miles is how many feet? Well, we're going from miles that are big to feet that are small, so that tells us we're going to multiply. Take a minute, pause the video, and multiply three times what? Well, three groups of 5,280 feet. What do you come up with? 15,840 feet. How about 27 feet? is how many yards. Take a look at the top. Here's our feet. Yards are bigger than that. We're going from small feet to big yards. So what operation are we going to do? We are going to divide. Small to big tells us to divide. So we're going to take our 27 feet. And what are we dividing by? Well, we're going to divide them into groups of three. 27 divided by three. There's some mental math that will tell you nine yards. 84 inches is how many feet? We're going from inches, super tiny, to feet which are bigger, small to big. What operation is that? Small to big tells us to divide. What are we dividing by though? We're gonna take 84 inches and we're gonna divide them into groups of 12 because there's 12 inches in a foot. So 84 divided by 12 gives us seven feet. Three more to go. Five feet is how many inches? First of all, are we going big to small or small to big? Here's feet in orange. Inches are much smaller, big to small. Big to small means to multiply. There are 12 inches in each foot, so you're going to do 5 times 12, and that gives us how many inches? 60. 8 yards is how many feet? Well, yards are big. The biggest thing I could fit here on the screen for us, feet are a little smaller. So we're going big to small. That tells us to do what? That tells us to multiply. 8 times what, though? Well, there's 3 feet in a yard. You can also see here from our chart at the top, there's one yard equals three feet. So we have eight sets of three, which gives us 24. And the last one, five yards is how many inches? Yards very long compared to itty bitty inches. There are 36 inches in a yard or one yard is 36 inches. So as we go from big to small, we're going to multiply five yards times 
36 inches in each one, and that gives us 180 inches. So remember, big to small means to multiply, small to big means to divide. And as long as you know there's 12 inches in a foot, three feet in a yard, one yard is the same as 36 inches, and there's those five tomatoes, five, two, eight, zero feet in a mile, you're going to be in good shape.